Prince Harry appears at the High Court. This is News Review from BBC Learning English. I'm Neil. And I'm Beth. Make sure you watch to the end to learn vocabulary to talk about this story. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and try the quiz on our website. Now the story. He said it's his life's work to challenge the press. Now, Prince Harry has appeared at the High Court in London to show how serious he is about it. The Prince, along with other celebrities like Sir Elton John, accuses Associated Newspapers of illegally gathering private information. The publisher denies all the claims. You've been looking at the headlines, Beth. What's the vocabulary? We have life's work, snooping, and bluffing. This is News Review from BBC Learning English. Let's have a look at our first headline. This is from The Independent. Prince Harry has begun his life's work by turning up in court when he didn't need to be there. Yes, so the headline says that Harry has appeared in court even though he didn't need to, and this shows he has begun his life's work. Life's work is the expression that we're looking at. It seems quite simple, Beth, but can you tell us more? Yes, so this expression does seem simple because it's made up of two words that we know very well, life and work. But in combination, they have a special meaning and it's all to do with passion. Yes, that's right. Now, Beth, in your life, you have been working as uh, an English teacher, um, but you often tell me that your passion and what you really care about is theatre, uh, and that in fact you're writing a musical, and that is the thing you dedicate your energy and passion to. It's your life's work. Yes, so when we say that something is our life's work, it might be the thing that we're paid to do, it might be a job, if so then that's very lucky, because your life's work can also just be something you really enjoy, like a hobby. That's right. Okay, let's look at that again. Let's have our next headline. This is from Bloomberg UK. Prince Harry clashes with Daily Mail in UK snooping lawsuit. Yes, yeah, so the headline says that Prince Harry clashes with the Daily Mail. That means he is having a fight with them. And it's about this issue of snooping. Snooping is the word we're looking at. And Beth, it means sort of looking around for things, doesn't it? Well, it's more than that. So snooping is looking around in places that you probably shouldn't be to try and find information that other people don't want you to know about. Okay, so it's about looking for private information, secret information. Yeah, that's right. And that's what these celebrities are accusing publications from associated newspapers of doing, getting private information about them in a dishonest way, such as listening to private phone calls. Now, snooping is the activity and to snoop is the verb. Yes, and the person who does it is called a snoop. Now, snooping is not considered a positive Thing. So when we use this word, we're talking about unhappy situations. Anything else to say? Uh, well, we use it with on, so we can say someone is snooping on a celebrity. And we also use it with about and around. I can say, mm, that man is snooping around. Okay, let's look at that again. Let's have our next headline, please. This is from The Guardian. Prince Harry shows he is not bluffing in vendetta against Daily Mail owner. So the headline says that Prince Harry has a vendetta against the Daily Mail. That means a very long relationship of hatred. Um, but we're looking at the word bluffing. Now, bluffing is a little bit like joking, isn't it? Well, a bit, but it can be a bit more serious than that. So bluffing is about making people believe that you're going to do something, even if actually you aren't. 
Okay, so for example, I can say to my boss, unless you give me a pay rise, I'm going to leave. But actually, I'm not going to leave because I need the job and I need the money. Yeah, that's right. It's like a false threat. Now, in this headline, we can see that it's used in the negative. Harry's not bluffing, and it's very often used in this way. So we say I'm not bluffing to mean that we are serious in our threat. Yes, and so this piece says that Harry is serious. He really does want to control and limit the behaviour of some parts of the press. Okay, let's look at that again. We've had life's work, the thing you dedicate your life to achieving because you care so much about it. Snooping, finding out private information in a dishonest way. And bluffing, saying that you're going to do something that you're not really going to do. And if you enjoy learning English with stories about Prince Harry, we have another episode of News Review for you all about his book. Just click here now. And don't forget to click here to subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Goodbye.